The next name I want to hit on and it is Advanced Auto Parts, AAP. This is a name that we covered this one um, and actually had a really good call on it. Um, it. Made a lot of money on the short side, but the company put out numbers this morning and absolutely imploded. Um, so it just goes to show, I mean, we talked about this a little bit, you and me, uh, about like, why should we cover VFC yesterday? Um, and these, these shorts, you think they're all played out because they look cheap um, and the stocks are bottomed out and expectations look like they're bottomed out. But this company put out earnings. Hang on a minute. I just got to toggle over and get this right because it's so damn big. Um, they put out earnings of uh, 78 cents. The street was at like 270. Um, it was just a colossal miss. They took down full year guidance. The streets had about 11 bucks, took numbers down to about six bucks. Um, and what's happening is it's just investing in price. It's talking about these, these, these investments. They're cutting price. They're cutting price because they're losing share to AutoZone and to O'Reilly Auto Parts, and they're tired of losing share. And this is a crap company. Um, and the only way it can, you know, get its top line going again is if it cuts price, which is very quad four behavior. This is just a really big event here for like, this is the big head headline in retail here this morning. The stock is down now almost 30%. Um, and uh, it, 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 it just over any duration, I would not own this stock. Um, so if you're looking at going dumpster diving and buying stocks that are blowing up, you do not want to touch advanced auto parts. If you're a bull over a tail, tail duration, you'll say that it could close its gap with O'Reilly. It's got a margin of now like seven and O'Reilly's at about 22. Um, there's no way it, it can structurally close it. It just can't, can't do it. It's like me saying, like, I can slam dunk a basketball. I can't do it. I'm five foot six. Um, this, this company is like, it, it, it'll just never get it done. So anyway, those are the big headlines out of retail this morning. I mean, it's, it's, you know, first of all, it's down more than 50%, right? From its cycle peak at like two thirty. you're yeah. talking about advanced auto, right? I mean, um, but again, valuation is not the catalyst. The momentum of the business is uh, you know, the, the rate of change at the top line of pod one, the quad that we're in, the consumer recession that we're entering. You know, it's like it's just, um, yeah, we can only say it six months ago and repeat it today. But the fact of the matter is that we've been saying it for eight going on 18 months. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.